I'd been working making glass on my own for 23 years and uh, when I received the invitation to come down to Blinko Glass I thought oh my what a what a wonderful adventure this is going to be what a what a unique opportunity this is for me um, how many times would I be able to have the, the chance to come and, and be a part of the leadership and the development of a company that had been around for so long. I mean, you know, the Blinko name has been around for over a hundred years and become a part of that. So, you know, it was like uh, an invitation to the gates of heaven. So, it's an interesting process, the handmade glass. We have the furnaces, some of them may hold 400 pounds of glass and some of them may hold 3,400 pounds of glass. One of our base glass colors is crystal. So we can start with crystal and then we can add other colors to that crystal. Now to get the glass out of the furnace is a process a lot like dipping honey up out of a bowl with a honey stick. You, you take a metal pipe and it's usually larger on one end and this, uh, this metal pipe is called a blowpipe or a punty and we dip into the molten glass and we turn the pipe and we scoop at the same time and that process is called gathering the glass. After you gather the glass on the end of the pipe then there's just a whole bunch of different things can go on. You can bring it over to a slab of metal and roll it back and forth to make it pointed up into a cone or you can flatten it out or you can actually make grooves into the glass. It's very, very malleable and uh, so you can use different tools to shape it or pre-shape it depending on what the next step is going to be. Uh, we use a lot of wooden molds that's been hand carved with hand tools. We have a mold maker that actually uses gouges to make these molds and it's just phenomenal how much of the original process that we've preserved here. I want people to First of all, know where glass comes from, know how it's created, know that the history, even in a small degree about glass, and then realize the beauty and the versatility and the magnetism and importance that glass has played in the history of West Virginia.